Hi, my name is Sabrina Jones, and today I'm going to be showing you the common themes that are shown throughout two of James Wan's films, Insidious and The Conjuring. When audiences go see a horror film, they usually expect the film to have a lot of gore in order to scare them. Well, with Insidious and The Conjuring, they do the exact opposite. James Wan uses the element of the supernatural in order to scare the audiences, unlike his previous film, Saw. In both of these films, they are centered around a family that is being haunted by a demonic spirit. The Conjuring is about a real case from the famous paranormal investigator couple, Ed and Lorraine Warren, who investigate a house in Rhode Island that is terrorizing the Perrin family with an evil entity, and the Warrens try to help the family out, unlike Insidious, which is not based on a true story. Insidious is about the Lambert family, and they move into a new house, and after their son Dalton goes into an unexpected coma, parents Renee and Josh seek help from a paranormal investigator in order to help bring their child back from the malevolent entity that has taken over Dalton's body. Both of these films share a similar structure in the storyline, this being a family that is haunted by an evil entity in their house and they have to call experts to help their situation and be safe and be a family again. Another important area to highlight about Wan's films, and especially in these two, James doesn't mainly use CGI in order to scare the audience. Unlike some other horror films that have been released within the past few years, they have used CGI in order to create their monster, but Juan uses real actors that are in hair and makeup and in costume in order to make the horror come to life and make it believable for the audience. Not only that, but James also uses the dark elements in order to capture what terror creeps around. And according to Mark David Ryan, he says, as represented by the Haunted House tales, Insidious and The Conjuring are both underpinned by dark visual styles and lurking supernatural terrors. In these films, they use some sort of technology in order to connect with the spirits. In Insidious, Renee uses a baby monitor in order to keep an eye out on her baby Callie, when all of a sudden she hears a demonic sound coming from her room. She also plays the piano in which attracts the spirits to play with her. In The Conjuring, Lorraine uses her sixth sense in order to sense the spirit that's within the house, while on the other hand, Ed uses different types of technology in order to catch the spirit on tape and to show proof. The last common theme that is shared within these two films is that there's a strong sense of family that needs to be saved from the demonic spirit. In both of these films, the women of the household have to protect and save their family from the evil entity that is taking over their lives. In Insidious, the mom, Renee, has to take care of the three children in the house, while Josh, on the other hand, never takes care of the children and is usually at work, even during after hours. This has Renee become stressed because she feels alone taking care of everything. And according to Maya Panzik, Renee's obligations become doubled and more complicated. She not only has to feed and wash him, but to apply the medicine, insert, clean medical tubes, and monitor him. Maya also states that Josh is never really there to help her out and is always leaving or going back to work to grade more papers. We also see this in The Conjuring with the parent family. Roger, who is the father, is seen being more active with the children, unlike Josh, but Caroline is still the main parent who takes care of their children. Even when she becomes sick and possessed and is not quote unquote herself, she still wants to make sure that her family is okay. After watching Insidious and The Conjuring, even though they are both different spirit-infused universes, they do share common themes. They don't use gore or CGI in order to scare the audience. They share a common storyline structure, and they have a family that is willing to save everyone from a demonic spirit. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. It's a